And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And we have action coming up from the first leg of the Conmebol Rey Copa. It's Atletico Paranaense against Palmeiras. Well, what anticipation we have inside the ground today. Can the hosts take the lead going into the second leg? And can the visitors cope with the intense pressure they're going to be put under? I'm sure it'll be competitive and no doubt it will be dramatic and it should be a great game, Derek. A look at the starting 11 today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. This is what they'll be facing today. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. And the contest begins. He continues his run. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. And that pass could be troublesome. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. And short it is. Turning inside, where's he going to go? Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. And retaining possession proving difficult. Base on the flank. Could play it in. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. In with a chance. the chance and the keeper didn't have to do very much can they trouble the opposition this time and taking it away
and they need to get tighter oh a lovely ball determined defending disappointing pass and he takes it on well it's ended up being easier for the goalkeeper in the end Well, moving the ball impressively here. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Cross fired over. Well, able to survive that attacking push. They might be able to get in now. Well, terrific defending to stop them progressing. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. play it in and the challenge halts them in their tracks wants to attack from the wide areas now a decent position wonderful chance oh did so well to deny him Short corner taken, and that is how to block, and it's gone out of play, goal kick coming up. Making progress. He's using his strength to good effect. And possession given away. Breaking at pace. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Can he put them in front? Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened and that puts them in position oh breezing past him it comes to nothing in the end and the counter-attack is on options available
could be. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish, nil nil. There it is. They're in front. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. Fifteen minutes left for play. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. In behind for him to chase. But it looked as though he might be onto something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating, because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite so early. And that keeps them in with a chance. Well, there's still a bit of time left. Can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser? Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And played short. It's a neat move. Body in the way. And it's still on. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And still pressing for a goal here. But really sticking to the task defensively. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. They've won back possession. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, it was a really tight game, but they were the better side over the 90 minutes, and they fully deserved their victory today. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attached, Stuart. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.